this lesson, we are going to configure contract exclusion sets. So when, you're, when you create a contract, what you're going to do is you're going to set which work is included within the contract and what's excluded. And you can, of course, do it per contract, so one by one. But a, a way easier way to uh, do it is to just use contract exclusion sets. So a contract exclusion set is just a set of groupings um, you can make to display which work is included and which work is excluded within the contract. Okay, so let's get started. Um, to configure contract exclusion sets, we are going to go to admin. So we're going to go to the hamburger menu in the top left corner and click on admin right here. And within admin, what we're going to do is we're going to expand on contracts and unposting right here and click on the plus sign. And as you can see, contract exclusion sets are the second from above. So we're going to click on it. And as you can see, we've already made two uh, contract exclusion sets. But let's say you don't have one already. What you're going to do is you're going to click on new right here. And as you can see, a new page will open. In this page, you can give your contract exclusion set a name. So you might want to name it after a certain type of uh, uh, contract or a certain type of work. So um, uh, yeah, just give it a name which, which suits your company. And then you're going to exclude certain kind of roles of what, it, what is included and excluded within the contract. So you can just select certain kind of roles. So for example, project manager, now I can either dou double click or I can use the arrows right here to uh, transfer them between boxes. And the same goes for the, for the work type. So um, for us, after hours is never included within the contract. So I, I will double click on it right here to exclude it. And the same goes for emergency or holiday work. And so you're just going to go and, and do this for each type or make, make a decision for each work type if, if it should be in included or excluded within the uh, exclusion set. When you've got everything uh, you wanted or like you wanted, you can just click on save and close right here. And then you will go back to the previous page and um, you will see them right here. And if you already have existing current um, contract exclusion sets, what you can do is you can just use the hamburger menu on the left hand side like this to either edit them, copy them or inactivate or delete them. So let's say I want to uh, edit the workstation exclusions I have right here. I can just click on edit like this and I can um, fill in or edit the, the kind of work I want to exclude or include and I can just change it. And as you can see right here at the top, you can see how many contracts are associated with this exclusion set, how many active contracts are associated with this exclusion set. And um, well, to, to uh, uh, link a exclusion set to a contract, it's really easy. We can do it multiple ways. Um, let me show you right now. We can either go to the contract search right here by just clicking on contracts. We can search the right contract or fill in the, the right parameters and click on search right here at the right hand side. We can go to the contracts and click on edit contract. We can uh, just go to the contract by just clicking on the contract name. And as you can see, it, it'll open the uh, contract in a new tab. We can click on exclusions right here on the menu at the, on the uh, left side. And as you can see, it'll open the exclusions tab. Um, you can select an exclusion contract right here. And also you can um, uh, set an exclusion set. So an exclusion set is the set we just made. So for us, it might be workstation exclusions and it'll, it'll fill in everything automatically like this. You see the excluded roles right here and the excluded work types right here. And as you can see, when you, when you just select something else, it'll change automatically and you don't have to set anything manually. Only when you don't select an exclusion set, you, you have to just 
uh, selected manually. So as you can see, this is the same screen as the exclusion set, only you have to do it manually within this contract. Um, so when you're done or when you, when you selected the right one, you can just click on save right here and um, it'll, it'll save the exclusion set to the contract. You can close the, close the contract. Um, but a way easier way to do this is, for example, if you want to set an exclusion set to multiple contracts at once, instead of opening each contract, you can just use the uh, checkboxes right here to select the contract you want to activate the exclusion set for. You can just um, uh, click on this arrow right here and click on associate exclusion set with selected contracts. And if you click on it, you can just select the right exclusion set and it'll, it'll work for each contract you've selected. And as you can see, you can just um, uh, apply this exclusion set to all selected contracts, even if the contract already has an ex exclusion set. Um, and you can check box or, or uh, check this, this box if the exclusion set contains roles and or work types that are excluded from the selected contracts as other excluded roles and work types. So you don't, uh, so, there, so they aren't double within the contract. So after you've hit everything up or selected everything you want to, you can just hit save and close right here and it'll apply it to all of the contracts you've selected. So to recap, um, exclusion sets are really handy to use because instead of having to do everything uh, per contract, you can just select multiple contracts as, at once and set it for multiple contracts. And if you ever uh, want to change something in your exclusions, you can just edit the exclusion set instead of having to go um, edit each and every contract. So it'll just make your life a lot easier if you, ju if you just use contract exclusion sets um, and you can just manage manage these sets from within the admin menu instead of having to manage each contract separately.